In the 1950s, speed outpaced safety. The U.S. Air Force's new Convair B-58 Hustler, first operational bomber to cruise at Mach 2, made traditional ejection lethal. Engineers proposed a two-step escape capsule. A pre-ejection handle would draw in the pilot's legs and seal him inside. A second lever would blast the pod free, deploy a chute, and float until rescue, stocked with rations and water. Approval demanded proof. Ground trials first pressed jobless volunteers into static tests. Then came animals chosen to match human mass and build. American black bears, Himalayan brown bears, and chimpanzees. Sedated, harnessed, and instrumented, they rode the capsule through violent accelerations that crash dummies of the era couldn't yet replicate. Airborne shots followed, different altitudes, different speeds, each flight a search for failure modes. The data were brutal. Post-flight exams revealed fractures from seat vibrations and shock loads. Investigators tweaked restraints, cushioning, and structural dampers, then flew again. Iteration by iteration, the capsule learned to keep its occupant alive, even at twice the speed of sound. The animals did not share the victory. Many suffered serious injuries, survived the tests, and were later euthanized and dissected. Human crews finally received a proven escape pod. The B-58, triumph of speed and symbol of its era's ethics, was retired within a decade. 